test, 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 test. All right, what's up, everybody? We're gonna see how it was made before a warning. Warning. This might be a little glitchy. I don't know. I will have to look back, but it might be a little glitchy for the video. But we're gonna watch it. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted. So we're gonna watch a little bit of this. Yeah. So, so Atari kid, a little kid. Okay. Okay. The Lego brick is an old invention by now. The first plastic brick was molded in 1949. Wait, what? Molded? Wait, oh uh, wait, never mind, never mind. Since then, thousands of new and unique Lego elements have been developed. Pick a Lego brick from a box today, and it will fit with any brick that was molded decades ago. Decades. This is the result of great precision and commitment for more than 50 years. Trust me. <laughs> the Lego group has factories across the world. Yeah. But how do you produce hundreds of different types of bricks with such precision and in a wealth of colors every what? single day? <laughs> and how do the bricks find All right, the I didn't want to that part that actually was cool, but position. How are this this how does this made this is so good? All right, let's keep on watching. Way to the right boxes. This is the story about how small pieces of plastic granulate are transformed into creative play sets. Hey, I don't want plastic. A truck arrives with raw material at the factory. Mm -hmm. Simple. A truck like this holds up to 28 tons of plastic granulate. The granulate is blasted from the truck into tall silos where it is stored. Different types of plastic granulate are used depending on the function of each Lego element. The granulate is fed down a labyrinth of long pipes into the factory. The pipes lead to the heart of the Lego factory. The molding area. Okay. High tech injection molding machines produce Lego elements 24 hours a day, seven days a week. First, the raw granulate is mixed with the dye. Bricks are currently produced in over 50 different colors. Okay, hold up, hold up. So they use dye. I thought they colored them with something. What well, coloring is dye? But I didn't expect it to be dyed. I should have expected that, but I didn't. I know it, they had to somehow color them, but I didn't. I, I should have knew it's dyed. All right. Be, be, be silly. All right, back to the video. The colored granulate is then led into the molding machine. Within no time, the granulate is heated to between 230 and 310 degrees Celsius. The plastic melts into a texture, much like toothpaste. With great force, the paste is then fed into the mold. Great forces Yum. must be controlled during this process. The pressure can reach 29,000 PSI. In comparison, a car's tire pressure is 29 to 43 PSI. In the mold, the material is cooled in a matter of seconds, and out comes a newborn Lego brick as we know it. Plastic waste from the molding machines is ground and recycled straight away. Each mold can make one shape of Lego element at a time. To make a different shape of element, the mold must therefore be replaced. The unique molds are part of the secret behind the success of the Lego group. 
In each factory, there's a department dedicated to regular cleaning and maintenance of the molds. The molds are made with great accuracy, ensuring that all Lego bricks always fit together perfectly. The molds are therefore handled with Right, hold up. Sorry I have to begin, but you see, fit perfectly? Have y'all ever had got bought a Lego set and th the piece was not going on? It was the exact piece it was asking for. I don't know if that's perfectly. I think you did. It was that. Is it was is that wait? No, uh, whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. The word. Like I don't think it's perfect, but it's good enough. It's good enough. Right back to the video. Greatest care. Each mold has a specific set of instructions, which among other things cover pressure, time, and temperature. Temperature tests and molding tests are carried out to ensure the machine is programmed to perfection at each replacement of the molds. Samples are sent to the quality department, which measures such things as the durability and precision of the element. It is ensured that the Lego element is perfect. AGV stands for Automatic Guided Vehicle. Robots like these were introduced into the production as early as 1987. When the box by the molding machine is full, these intelligent helpers replace it with a new empty box. The AGV then takes the full boxes to the conveyor system. A unique barcode identifies the content of each box. The boxes are shaken to even out the content, ensuring it takes up as little space as possible. Now the lids can be closed. This is where the journey of the boxes ends for now. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? How tall is that? How tall is that? <laughs> That's tall, but it's so. It's so hard to be so tall. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I, I'm getting shocked how tall this is. Okay. Back to the video. We're going to see. In high bay warehouses up to 37 meters high, the boxes are ready to be collected. When a specific Lego element is required, the box is collected. All registration and localization is entirely automated. The boxes are then transported onwards from here. Many elements are taken directly to the packaging lines, but not these little guys the minifigures must first get their own unique expression. A machine can produce more than 7,000 torsos per hour. Over half a billion minifigures are produced every year, making them one of the world's largest populations. In the first part of the packaging process, Counting machines ensure that elements are put in small production boxes. One by one, they're weighed and measured to secure the right numbers in each box. The bricks to be included in just one bag in a complete Lego set are placed in rows of counting machines. The content of each production box is then automatically put in a plastic bag. The bags are dropped into open Lego boxes along with the building instructions and large special elements. The most efficient packaging lines pack over 50,000 boxes every 24 hours. Now the boxes are closed and sealed. Here we have final Lego boxes as we know them. The Lego boxes are packed for shipping and stacked onto pallets. They are now ready for a long journey.
first stop of the journey is at one of the large distribution centers. From here, they are shipped to stores all over the world. It is now up to children and adults to explore the fun and creative building experiences of the Lego set. Okay, at the uh, let me um bring back the mic. Hold up. So at the end there, the kids like tap tap. Yeah, I I want we are holding this his eyes. So that's pretty cool. What the heck? That is pretty cool, not gonna lie. He's like, tap, tap. Can, can I can I have some of those Legos? What up? Uh, yeah, he's like, tap, tap, can I have some of those Legos? But anyway, that's how they make Legos. I thought it was pretty interesting. I was talking about some stuff. But I hope you had a good day. Good noon, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good midnight. I hope y'all have all a good day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.